Noogenesis is a purely mental process. The practice of a telepathic art beyond the physical or biological stages of evolution. Its foundation is a Zamadi-like consciousness that is practiced on an anticipated descent of the Supermind, the consciousness and power of the Infinite. This heightened receptivity of this earthly state of mind becomes like a vacuum capable of attracting higher or even alien extraterrestrial intelligence. At the same time, the focus of the Samadhi is the compassionate activation of the mind of the planet, the Noosphere. This is the description and premise and purpose of Noogenesis as telepathic art. Noogenesis is birth of the Noosphere through a mental Noogenesis, a mind rebirth, while simultaneously embodying the descent of a Syrian personality, hence Syrian rebirth. This is how we incarnate or embody extraterrestrial intelligence, intelligence that has been generated outside of the planetary sphere for the purpose of activating the next stage of superhuman evolution. In this case, the intelligence being incarnate is a mind stream emanated from the Sirius Star Council of the Galactic Federation. It is from this council that the galactic Mayan codes of time have been projected. The Syrian persona is incarnated into an already existing terrestrial entity or entities who have fully prepared themselves for this eventuality. The Syrian persona is a telepathic channel open to the frequency lines of all beings. Extraterrestrial intelligence is not subject to the conditionings of the thought programs that exist on the surface of this planet. By engaging a specific program, the intention is to transcend outward thought programs and embody or incarnate a formulation of new thought and knowledge based on an extraterrestrial perspective. These higher dimensional thought templates are programmed by different sets of frequencies that are resolved through the instrument of the synchronotron. To understand this new program, we must follow a specific process. This is where the practice of yoga comes in. The practice of yoga prepares us for the possibility of noogenesis. This comes about through the activation of prana descending and apana ascending, and the two currents, ida and pingala, that cross over from the lowest chakras up to the crown chakra. These two currents or channels mirror the double helix strands of DNA. These pranic channels become potentiated forms of etheric bioelectrical currents, a blue current, Ida, and a red current, Pingala. Through the whole mind perceiver cones, these two currents cross over and become an activating form of a higher mental life, the basis of noogenesis. What we think of as reality is actually a function of frequency beams that are projected subliminally to different sections of the brain. These frequency beams register and cause certain responses that create illusory pictures of the world that we perceive as real. Noogenesis implies something born, generated or brought about through mind. The term was coined by Pierre Taylor de Chardin, who was also co-responsible for the word and concept of the Noosphere. De Chardin described Noogenesis as a world that is being born instead of a world that is. Within the structure of cosmic history, we define three types of genesis, radiogenesis, biogenesis and noogenesis. Radiogenesis is the primary process of engendering life and matter programs, inclusive of the DNA program, by means of resonant frequency beams. Where did DNA come from and how did it get here? 
the DNA arrived to this planet through high frequency projections beams from an engineering station in other dimensions. These high frequency projections are cosmic radiation beams that carry the mathematical frequency signatures of different atomic elements and life codes. This is a holographic process known as radiogenesis. These beams imprint thought forms or thought configurations upon the cosmic radiation that then activates primary forms of matter. This is how the universe comes into existence. From the projecting booths in the adjacent light universe, these mathematically structured codes are transferred into photograms or light messages that, through the process of radiogenesis, focus on a high frequency radio wave that condenses and imprints the final forms of matter. This matter is organized as aggregates of atoms into different elemental and molecular structures. All the different signatures of the final forms of life are created through this process. This is the divine thought wave that writes the Book of Life. Once the Book of Life is established and the material forms engendered, comes the possibility for the involvement of organic states of consciousness from the highest of the inorganic states, the crystal with its 32 symmetry properties. The 64 DNA codons are a function of the binary doubling of the crystal 32. Biogenesis occurs when the cell is fertilized and undergoes mitosis or binary splitting. This splitting continues until it produces the whole cellular structure of male and female and on it goes. This is the binary multiplication of life. Though it is assumed that all states of consciousness are dependent on organic matter to be sustained, a type of proto-consciousness exists in the atomic structure of all inorganic matter as well. The sixth order of binary doubling is 32. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. 64 is the seventh order of binary doubling that brings the magic of life. 7 is the primary frequency of creation. Once the frequency of creation is activated by the seventh order of binary doubling, then life continues through processes of binary multiplication. It is important to study the relation of these numbers. Just as matter reaches a certain point within the binary enfoldment, becoming a crystal, so life reaches a critical point with the emergence of mind as a medium of evolving intelligence. From this mind comes the human. The human functions similarly to a crystal and has to engender its next stage of evolution, the superhuman or supermental state of consciousness. This gives the formulation of 32 to 64 and 64 to 128. Note, 32 plus 64 plus 64 plus 128 equals 288, the harmonic of polar light. This frequency represents the mind of light, essential to the telepathic art of noogenesis. As a telepathic art form, noogenesis is engendered first through two activating agents that represent a red negative and a blue positive bioelectrical circuit. Through a unified practice, the two agents engage the 441 telepathic grid underlying the universal matrix of creation through the electrical etheric activation of the Boulomb magnetic attraction force field. This is a component element 
first defined in the knowledge book. The Boulogne Magnetic Attraction Force Field refers to a particular electrotelepathic structure by which one is able to project or beam thoughts or beings to any place within the universe. This force field is a function of the 441 mathematical matrix. The Boulogne Magnetic Attraction Energy Grid is depicted in the Hunapku 21 matrix as a set of energy points that, when connected, create an energy grid. The Boulogne Circuit Board shows color frequencies with their corresponding mathematical number frequencies. The Vulum has a particular structural form, similar to the images of the interdimensional star map, as well as being a focalizer of the 21 galactic archetypes. See Cosmic History Chronicles Volume 5. The first step to activate this Vulum circuit board is to imprint and visualize this structure within the body and understand how the principles of magnetic reconnection and binary crossover polarity work. Through a third transfer medium in the center of the Earth, we can create a wholly interactive psychotelepathic electromagnetic field that becomes one unified magnetic force field that connects the human biopsychic field with the terrestrial electromagnetic field. The central channel of the Vulum Magnetic Attraction Force Field corresponds to the galactic axis, with the red marker pole above and the blue darker pole below. There are seven points that correspond to the heptad gates of the central axis. Red crown, white root, blue third eye, red sequence center, white throat, yellow solar plexus and the green heart center. On the right side is the red current streaming down, and on the left side is the blue current in its upward flow. The marker and darker poles also refer to the first two light gates that enter our universe from the first light universe. The red electric current is generated from the meridian to the left of the third eye, and the blue electric current is generated from the meridian to right of secret center. The flow of the red current is from top to bottom, and the flow of the blue current is from bottom to top. These two flows directly connect the secret center with the third eye, the two minor chakras. The red flow streams out from the third eye down to the left side meridian connecting with the secret center. The blue flow streams out from the secret center and up the right side meridian connecting with the third eye. These are the two etheric binary electrical currents that are telepathically activated in order to create the Noah Genesis. Visualize and meditate on the structure until you can feel where the points are. In studying the force field, remember, it is facing you so its left hand side is to your right and vice versa. The key to the system of noogenesis is study of the three key points of the red and blue currents. 